Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to write a program in Python to find whether the ended number is a prime number or not. What's a prime number? A prime number is a number that has exactly two factors. What's a factor of a number? A factor of a number is a divisor that divides that number with the remainder zero. So if you are dividing a number by a divisor and if you are getting the remainder zero, then the divisor is the factor of that number. So in this case, the prime number is actually any number that has exactly two factors. Normally for any number, one and the number itself are the factors. But if only that one and number are the factors of that number, then that number is called prime number. For example, 2, 5 and 7 and various other prime numbers are there. Now, let us move to the program. Normally in the Python, the comments, single line comments can be given using the hash symbol. So any set of characters followed by this hash symbol is called comment. Comments are normally the part of the programs but not the part of execution. So they are simply the instructions or information given to the compiler. So let, let us give a command prime number. Now, we, we want to find whether the given number is prime number or not. In that case, you have to accept a number as input, a number that is to be checked as input. Uh, let us assume that the number is num. But how to get the input from the user? In Python, we have input function, predefined input function that we discussed in the previous video to accept inputs from the user through keyboard. Now, if you are calling input function, this input function will prompt a string or prompt a place to enter the inputs and it will wait for the inputs from the user. Now, when you are running a program, the user of the program may not know what input has to be entered. So in this case, you can provide a description to that particular user what type of input is required from this user. So within double quotes of this parenthesis with an input, we can provide the description. For example, enter a number. Now this input function will accept whatever you are typing in the, in the, in the keyboard okay, as a string. For example, if you are typing 100, but actually this input will not take it as 100, it will take it as 1, 0, 0. So input, is, input function is actually getting a collection of characters entered by the user through keyboard and it is considered as a string. But what we want is a number that is to be checked. So since that number is going to be the integer number, we, are going, we need to convert it into the required type. So we have a predefined method or function called int that will convert whatever you obtain from the user through keyboard uh, you, by the execution of this input statement or input function into integer. Now this 100 is converted into integer. So num is now having the integer number. Now next is as per as per the discussion and a prime number is a number which has exactly two factors. So we have to count the factors. We have to count the factors so we can have a variable fact count and its initial value should be zero because in programming if you are going to use any variable as a summation variable that means in future you will, you will add something with that variable and you want to get the result your initial value of your your variable that that variable should be zero because if you have any other value in that in that variable then if you add that value with the first value then surely your your, your resultant value will be changing it's, it's, it will be it will be wrong but if you are having zero there zero plus anything is the first first value when you are adding the first value with fact count zero plus that first value only the first value only so it is not going to make any wrong results in the fact count so now fact count is zero okay now what's next let us check the process of finding the prime numbers for example what is the process of finding the prime numbers? Initially, we have fact count 0, right? And we have to take or we have to consider the numbers from 1 till the number itself. For example, 
for example if you take uh, if you if you consider 7 as the input entered by the user in that case you want to check whether 7 is a prime number or not right so in that case you start dividing uh, 7 by 1 and get the remainder so what operator can you use to get the remainder uh, after division you have to use modulus division operator in, in python we have modulus division operator this modulus division operator will give the remainder as a result out of a division operation so first divide that number 7 by 1 and check whether you are getting 0 as a result yes you will get 0 as a result because for any number 1 is a factor so in that case 0 will be the result or remainder in that case this condition is satisfied yes so this 1 is the factor to the 7 so increment the uh, factor fact found by 1 that means fact found is uh, incremented by 1 since the factor is found so actually you can increment but uh, python does not support increment you can use fact count plus 1 you can use fact count plus 1 now fact count is actually 1 then check whether 2 is dividing 7 with the remainder 0 no then in that case you can use, it's not a factor then uh, check whether 3 is dividing 7 by uh, with the remainder 0 no so 3 is not a factor of 7 then 4 no then 5 no 6 no but when you are dividing 7 by 7 the number itself you will again get 0 as a remainder in that case again the condition is satisfied that means we found another factor for 7 so the first factor was 1 and uh, now the current factor is 7 so only two factors actually uh, you can whenever you find a factor after dividing that number by uh, a divisor from 1 to the number itself and if you are finding that it's a factor increment the fact count by 1 and finally fact count value will be compared against 2 so if your fact count if your fact count if your fact count is exactly 2 then you can say that it's a prime number print that it's a prime number this for this only we are going to write the code right so let us move to the code so as per as per the uh, algorithm what you want to do is you want to take the numbers from 1 till the number itself and divide uh, divide that number by just devices and check whether you are getting remainder 0 so in that case you repeatedly divide so write a for loop and this for loop will have an iterating variable i and this i will have the values from a sequence of numbers generated by the range function range function from 1 because the first factor first divisor for any number is 1 that is first it's a factor 2 so first factor is 1 and what is the last factor is the number itself so in that case you can use num right because you are going to divide that number for example num by 1 till the number itself but if you are using num here it will it will consider the values it will it will generate the value only up to num minus 1 if you are giving 7 it will give only up to 6 right so you have to use plus 1 in that case it will generate 7 up to 7 now the for loop ends with our for loops header ends with the colon now the block starts inside this for loop what are we going to do you are you are going to divide this number num by the divisor what is the divisor here i is the divisor because this i is meant for storing the devices generated by this range function uh, 1 at every iteration in that case num by i you divide this num by i and check whether it is 0 right so we have to have a decision making statement here so whether this condition is getting satisfied so in python we have if symbol if statement to check for the conditions or to, to take the decisions on some conditions so if this is actually another topic explained in another video so you can refer the channel for the explanation on if and various uh, various forms of this if and their applications now if then if this condition is satisfied then this i is the factor if i is dividing this num with the remainder 0 then i is the factor now if is ending with a colon just like for and in that case new factor is found so you can increment the fact by 1 
that means fact count plus is equal to 1 it's it's called shorthand assignment operator in python uh, if you are combining an arithmetic operator or logical operator with equal to simple or equal to operator then it's called shorthand assignment operator not equal it's assignment operator right so it's called shorthand assignment operator right it's it's meaning is actually what is actually the meaning of uh, what is actually the meaning of this is actually fact is equal fact count is equal to fact count plus 1 so it's a short form of this this statement is the short form of this statement right that's why it's called it's called as shorthand assignment operator so we can give we can give uh, in this form also right you can this in this you can give in this form also right now once your uh, factor is identified you can you can add one or you can add one to this fact count so now this for loop will keep on repeating uh, for numbers from one till that number it's okay and finally you will have the number of factors in this fact count right so just check whether this fact count is whether this fact count is exactly two because if and only if this fact count is exactly two we can say that uh, that number is a factor prime number right so you can now print okay now you can print the number the number is a prime number so in job in python if you want to separate or when you are printing something if you want to separate a string and a variable you have to use comma and in some places if you want to if you want to um, leave or if you want to have some place for that variable you have to mention that variable itself without double quotes so if you are mentioning this num within double quotes then it, that num will be printed as it is in the screen right again i am printing giving semicolon right so now what you want to do is if this fact count is not exactly two then it is not a prime number in that case you can have an else part right the same statement that the number is not a prime number the number is the number is not a prime number right so this uh, this code is very simple and it is it is finding the number of factors of a given number and also it is checking whether that number is a prime number or not by comparing the number of factors uh, with uh, two, right? That means every number is having exactly two factors. That means prime number is having exactly two factors. And if it is exactly two, then it is a prime number. Just we are printing that it's a prime number or not. I hope that you understood this uh, program and uh, refer the programs for input statements or input function and for loop uh, in another video and for if and if else statements in another video. So subscribe the channel for more videos and press the bell button for notifications and keep on watching more videos. Happy programming. Thank you.